Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I am back again with another video. I hope that you guys are doing well and I also hope that you guys are staying safe. So I know it is the holiday time, so I just wanted to say um, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, happy Black Friday. Um, I personally don't celebrate the holidays, but I know that um, most of my followers and subscribers do, so I do respect that. And um, I did mention on another video the reason why just because I am not really a religious person, but I'm spiritual, but I know that most of my family members do, but I still, you know, hang out with family members, the ones that are not so toxic. But um, anyway, <laughs> but I just want to throw it out there. Happy holidays to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving. So um, I actually wanted to talk about something a little different today. I know that some people may not be um, with their family during this period of time. Um, some people might be with their friends. Some people might be having um, a friends giving, like a, a, a Thanksgiving celebration, but it's not family, but it's friends. And um, I just want you to be mindful and understand that um, not all, and just a disclaimer, not everybody is a narcissist, you guys. So let's just be clear on that. Um, and some people may have the tendencies, you know, um, and some people may just be toxic. Some people may be dysfunctional. Some people may be unhealthy and some people's hearts not be, may not be in the right place, you know, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a narc, you know, but you do have some people, um, you may have friends or associates that could be narcissistic. Right. And, um, you just want to keep in mind, um, because these people will pretend that they're your friend or they will pretend that they like you or they pretend that they support you or they pretend to give you good advice or they pretend to mean well and have your back. Right. Um, but you just want to understand that it, that's exactly what it is. It's just pretending it's not real. You know, um, deep down, they actually don't like you They're deep down. They're not your friend. Deep down, you know, they may be jealous of you or they may be envious of you or they may want to see you fail or, you know, they may try to take your boyfriend or your girlfriend away from you or, you know, they may be gossiping about you or, you know, maybe you've shared some information with them and maybe they're sharing it with other people. You know, you, you may have said like, hey, you know, can you keep this between you and I? Um, and they may have shared this with someone. So um, that's, a, that's a very unfortunate thing that can happen. And um I just want you guys to be aware, and you know, like a, a narcissistic friend is just like a regular narcissist. So someone that's very self-centered, someone that plays the victim role constantly, someone that blame shifts and projects, and someone that's manipulative and controlling and self-centered. And, you know, they're very um, condescending and, you know, they put you down, they criticize you. They're always in competition with you. They're jealous. They're envious. They want your life. And, you know, um... Yeah, they just want you to praise them and give them admiration. They want you to put all of your time, your energy, your effort into them, right? So you just want to be mindful of this, you guys. Now, um, me personally, I wouldn't say that I had a narcissistic friend, but I would definitely say that the person had the tendencies or maybe it was just like some envy or jealousy there. But this was from a person that I was friends with for a very long time and actually in my hometown of Delaware, which is where I'm from. And... Um, I don't know. I guess we just outgrew each other. I did mention this in another video, so I'll link that below so you can hear more about it. But uh, we outgrew each other. You know, I, I left Delaware and moved to California. And um, I don't know. I guess I just changed for the better. And I guess, you know, she noticed that. And at that point, it was just more so like, you know, she was criticizing me and talking down on me. And, you know, I thought that she was going to be someone that... Um, you know, like a, a really good friend, like a genuine friend. But I, I noticed like she was talking down on other people behind their backs and, you know, um, criticizing like what they did. And that she thought that I was going to agree. I'm just like, hey, if that's what that person wants to do with their life, let them do it. You know, I'm not here to judge anybody, you know. Um, so, you know, that that kind of changed. And, um, you know, she did mention a couple of things about my own personal family and, you know, stuff that had happened to me back in the past. And I was just kind of like, eh, you know, so we decided to end the um, our friendship. But, you know, the, like an update on that. It's funny because I actually heard because her and I, we haven't spoke since 2016, I want to say. And I found out that she actually saw my mom at the mall and gave my mom a hug. So 
I don't know. I thought that was weird. But one of the reasons why, <laughs> that's funny. I, I felt like things were off because she started to like mimic everything that I did. Like, you know, she would copy like my hairstyle. She would copy like, um, like everything on um, different social media posts. And then she had wanted to like move in with me. Um, like we were thinking of like moving to like a different state and she's like, oh, we should move here. But then she was saying like, oh, well, if I have this animal, like, would you be okay with it? And I'm just kind of like, uh, no, <laughs> you know? And um, she was asking me about like, you know, the stuff that I was doing in my life and everything. And, you know, I was giving her advice, but then she started to say like, oh, well, you know, I don't know if I could do this and how do you do that? And blah, 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 blah. It was just, it was just really weird. So, you know, I'm happy that I did cut that situation off, but um, just understand, and this may not just be narcissistic friends, you guys, you could have normal people, normal friends, it could just, I don't know, just come from a background or a family dynamic or an environment where there was just a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy, a lot of competition, and, you know, trying to one up another person or, you know, um, just trying to make another person feel bad to bring themselves up, you know, you could have that, you know, people could pretend to be your friend and they're really not. You know, so you just want to be careful. So if you're wondering, like, well, what should I do if this is you? Again, you guys, independence. Independence is key. And, um, you know, just really being being able to overcome that codependency. Because, um, you know, a lot of us, we feel like we have to be around people in order for us to feel good, in order for us to, you know, appear attractive or beautiful to others. Like we feel like we have to have a crowd of friends around us or a crowd of people. It's like, no, like you don't have to do that, you know? So, you know, um, knowing your worth, knowing your value, um, you know, understanding that, you know, again, yourself and God can, you know, will be your best friend, you know, and God will be there for you. God will never turn his back on you. He won't love you or like you because of certain things that you have, or it won't be like, um, conditional. It's unconditional love with God, you know, but yeah, you, you have to learn to be alone. You guys, you have to learn to focus on your life purpose and you have to realize like you don't need validation from family members or friends or anybody else in order for you to be, um, complete or to feel satisfied or to feel worthy or to feel cool or like you're keeping up with certain people Like you don't have to do that, you know? Um, because I know that that can be a big problem, but in regards to narcissistic friends, just understand you guys, they don't, they don't have your back. They don't. And they're, again, they're in competition with you. You know, they're, they want to destroy your other relationships, just like how the, the narc parents and the narc in-laws, the narc friends are the same. They're the same way. You guys, they'll love bomb you too. They'll love bomb you. Um, and then like, you know, they'll start to devalue you. They'll start to criticize you. And, um, you know, they'll give you bad advice as well. Like they won't have your back. And again, they'll use the stuff that you tell them. They'll use that against you at a later time. And then also they'll play the victim, just like how the narc parent will do, the narc in-law. So, yeah, you, you just want to be careful, you guys. And just understand um, it's nothing wrong with being low-key, doing your own thing, staying to yourself, focusing on your life purpose, focusing on your priorities and what's most important for you. Um, you know, and again, you don't need to have a crowd of people to feel cool or to feel attractive or to feel loved or to feel liked and appreciated. It's just, it's not necessary because the thing about it is the less people you have around you, the less drama you have, the less, um, uh, stress you have, the less depression you have, you know, you could focus on yourself, focus on your family, focus on your goals and your dreams. You know, the more people you have, the more, the less energy you may have, the more drained you're going to feel, the more tired and exhausted because you have so many people that could be projecting themselves on you or could be trying to drain you or try, could try to talk you out of stuff or put you down and you know, get me. So just be careful. I'm not saying like don't have friends, but just be mindful of the people that you do have around you, you know, because not everybody likes you. Not everybody has your best interests and just take time to get to know people. Take time. Like talk to people that are like-minded, talk to people that have the same similar visions as you, talk to people that have goals and dreams just like yourself, or, you know, people that are cooperative and not, you know, envious, secretly hating you or secretly don't want to see you do better than that. That's another big thing. A lot of people are just like, 
they feel like, oh, if you're in their mind, they feel like if you're doing better than them, then they're not going to like you or they're not going to support you or whatever, you know? So you just want to avoid that. Like try to be around people that are, are genuine and pure hearted. But again, it takes time. But like I said, when you know yourself, then you get to know other people because you're like, okay, I've mastered myself. I've mastered my emotions. I've self-regulated and I've focused on myself. And so if anything outside of me is like out of alignment or if I feel uncomfortable, if I feel like this different type of feeling, then you can say, okay, let me just kind of, you know, do my own thing and just let bygones be bygones. And it's like a slowly but surely you just kind of like let things dissipate and fizzle off because it's not worth your time. So, but yeah, if you're, if you're by yourself during this Thanksgiving, cook your own meal, you guys, like don't hesitate to do that or eat out or something. <laughs> or if you have your own little family, like make your own meal. Like you don't have to go to other people's houses and be around all the, the drama. Cause again, in the other video that I made, it's like a lot of people, especially if it's the narcissistic friends or parents or in-laws, they're going to be trying to embarrass you and humiliate you and talk down on you, you know, when you're eating, because, you know, people can feel like at the dinner table, people like they open up and they talk and they just let things out or they may say things and they may not care how you react. And, you know, that that's a narcissist playground right there. They're going to be attacking you, embarrassing you, belittling you, um, demeaning you, degrading you, everything, and just saying everything that you trusted them not to say, and they're going to be sharing that with others because it's like an, an enmeshment for a lot of um, family members or dysfunctional family dynamics, you know. So anyway, I hope that this video was helpful and insightful. Um, don't hesitate, you guys. I actually have a free Facebook support group. So if you feel like you're by yourself, you don't have any friends or um, family members that, you know, you relate to anymore, join my free Facebook support group. It is all about healing and recovery and just you know, sharing your, your thoughts, your feelings, and your emotions, and it won't be used against you. And, you know, it won't be shared to other people and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I would love to know what was you guys' biggest takeaway. And please, you guys keep giving this video likes, shares, and subscribes. Keep leaving comments. It may be a comment that somebody needs to hear. I would love to know what you guys learned. What was your takeaway and what you plan on implementing. And, um, and again, happy holidays and until the next time. Bye guys.